Um, in question 10a, uh, we have to find the coordinates and nature of each of the stationary points C. Uh, in the first instance, we need to differentiate the curve. dy by dx is equal to uh, 3x squared minus 12. Uh, the next stage is to obviously state that at stationary points, dy by dx equals 0. Therefore, we can create an equation, 0 is equal to 3x minus 12. So 3x squared is equal to 12. x squared is equal to 4, which means x can take values of plus or minus. Don't forget the negative value, 2. At this stage, um, because it asks us to find the coordinates, many, many people forget to work out the y coordinates. So what I'm going to do now is take my x coordinates and sub them into the equation of the curve to find the corresponding y coordinates. So in the first instance, when x is 2, y is going to equal 2 cubed, which is 8, minus 12 lots of 2, which is 24, plus 11. Uh, that gives us a value of uh, 5, minus 5. Um, it's secondly, when x is minus 2, y is equal to minus 2 cubed, minus 12 lots of minus 2 plus 11. Um, expanding that out slightly, we get y is equal to minus 8 plus 24 plus 11, giving us a y value equal to 27. So our coordinates are 2 minus 5 and minus 2, 27. The next stage is to uh, find the nature of these points. So what I'm going to do now is differentiate again to get d2y by dx squared, which gives us 6x. Um, when x is equal to 2, our first uh, point that's stationary, I can see that d2y by dx squared is equal to 6 times 2, which is 12. This is a positive value, which therefore implies that we have a minimum at x equals 2. So 2 minus 5, we have a minimum. At x equals minus 2, d2y by dx squared is equal to 6 times minus 2, which is minus 12, negative value, which implies a maximum. So at minus 2, 27, we do in fact have a maximum.